Hey everybody, it's Karina with Karina Loves to Plan. Welcome back to my channel. So here I am back with another ink exploration, this time with pink inks. And I'm actually really loving the process of going through all of the inks and seeing what I have because maybe it'll help me from buying more? I don't know. All right, so these are the pink inks that I currently have. Let's go ahead and get started swatching them. So for the ink exploration today, I have my A6 Hobonichi notebook, which has Tomo River paper in it. I will link, um, I will put a link in the description below for this. I also have my glass dip pen, which I bought off Amazon. And this is what I normally use for swatching along with Q-tips. So I'll go ahead and get started. So the first ink that I'm going to do here is a sample that I have actually used recently. This is Robert Oster Rose Gold Antica and there's not much left. I used this in my Twisby Diamond 580 last month and it's this beautiful rosy pink color with a bit of bronze shimmer in it. And I didn't think I was really that into shimmer anymore, but as soon as I use this ink I don't know, there's there's something about this rose gold antica that I just absolutely love. And you don't see a ton of the shimmer in the swatch, you actually see it more in the writing sample and I think it's because of my glass dip pen, but I really enjoyed using this. This ink had great flow. I may need to buy a bottle of this just to let you know. <laughs> but a really great shimmer ink. This is the only shimmer ink in this whole collection that I'm doing today. So the next one that I will be doing is one of the first ink samples that I ever purchased. This is Noodler's Black Swan in Australian Roses. And I bought this due to so many people's recommendations and, you know, as one of a, the really great shading inks. And I used it quite early on in my fountain pen journey. So the last time I used this was probably in October or November last year. But I realized I wasn't a huge fan of the way it wrote. I can't remember why and maybe I do need to test it out in one of my pens again. I don't know if I was just not a fan of the shading. It felt more red to me than pink. But I don't know, maybe it's one of those inks that because I'm doing this ink exploration, it's time for me to give it a try again in one of my pens. I don't know. We will see. But again, that is Noodler's Black Swan in Australian Roses. So the next ink that I am going to sample here is one of the smaller ink samples. This is one I got from Wonder Pens in Toronto, and this is Pilot Eroshizuku Sutsuji. And look at that. It's such a bright, gorgeous, I want to say strong pink. If you know what I mean by strong pink, it's not a dusty pink not saying anything bad about but dusty pinks i love dusty pinks but this is just a very punchy punchy pink which i will say again about another pink coming up here um i don't know if i need a full bottle of this i do like how bright this is and how just there's so much depth in this and you'll see as it dries i'll show you in the end as well but there is quite a bit of sheen in the pooling in the ink swatch such an interesting ink again but pilot eroshizuku are all fantastic the next sample here is another pilot eroshizuku and it is yamabudo now i know some people see this as purple or magenta um, i was listening to a goulet pens q a today and they actually include yamabudo in both pink and purple uh category so i would i thought i'd include it in the pinks today but i don't know i think i was a little bit disappointed because this had so much hype behind it and when i wrote with it in one of my pens last month in some papers it looked more red in some papers it looked more magenta i don't know what i was expecting with this particular one i wanted it to look more like the ink swatch but i don't know when it does dry though it has this amazing greenish gold sheen in the edges of the the swatch it's just gorgeous so maybe i need to try it again the next one i have here is pilot eroshizuku kosu mosu and this one is just such a fun 
pink as soon as I put it down on the page. Now, the way that I swatched it, it didn't show a lot of the shading, but I'm going to use my Lamy All Star, which currently has the Lamy 1.1 stub nib, and I'm having so much fun with this stub nib. But the stub nib is showing off a lot of the shading of this Kosumosu ink, which I think means cherry blossom. It is, I bought a full bottle of this one without actually trying the, I think I tried the sample and then I just bought the bottle on a whim but I don't regret that at all. It's such a fun summery pink and now with the stub nib I feel like I'm gonna write in it forever. I love the combination. Such a good one. The next ink that I do have is another bottle that I purchased after trying the sample and this is Herban Rue d'Ancre. I'm never gonna pronounce that correctly but when you first swatch it it doesn't look pink it looks like this kind of peachy light brown sludge is the only way that I'm gonna say it and when I first used it as a sample and I tried it on the Midori paper I did not like it at all but then I put it in my cross botanica green daylily which is a very wet writer and I loved it with the Tamo River paper when it dries it becomes this really light dusty pink and it's got such amazing shading so of course I had to buy a full bottle it is one of my favorites so I'm gonna do another swatch on here and you will see the amazing shading of this ink I highly recommend this one even though it doesn't look like your typical pink I love it love 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 it so the last two inks I have here are going to be from Sailor the first one is Sailor Ink Studio 237 the first time I tried this ink was actually in a sample from Goulet Pens and when I got my order this ink sample had leaked everywhere but I loved the color loved how it had leaked everywhere and the way that it writes with the glass dip pen it looks a lot darker than the ink swatch but it does look more like the ink swatch when I write with you know a fine or an extra fine nib it is a really beautiful lighter pink and this is why I love Sailor Ink Studio that it's not just your typical pink there's a lot of complexity to it now I don't do any of the um, you know the chromatics where you you put it you do the dip test and, and see what colors are in it but it's such a beautiful color and when I do the second layer on top you can see the beautiful layers and the shading of this ink it is one of my favorites and then lastly I have Sailor Shikiori Yozakura some people would call this purple some people would call this pink it's one of those in-betweens that would fit in any category purple or pink and I fell in love with this pink again this was a sample and then as soon as I tried the sample I'm like oh definitely have to buy it because as it dries like from this angle it looks like there's shimmer in it there is no shimmer it's just the beautiful properties of the ink and I used this in my Pelican M400 a few months ago and the combination of the really wet Pelican nib and this ink was just stunning so I'm gonna put another layer on top of that ink swatch there so you guys can see how this ink actually shades it is stunning absolutely stunning so there are all of my pink inks and I'm surprised to even have that many because pink's not normally a color that I go for, but I do have some favorites. Now this side is all of the bottled inks and this side is my samples. I do love Rose Gold Antica and I don't know if you can see it as much in here with the, the shimmer, but it's got this bronze shimmer and it's just gorgeous. I might have to buy a bottle of that. Noodler's Black Swan and Australian Roses is not really a favorite of mine. I can see why people like it, but I don't know. It's just not something that I'm drawn to. Pilot Orochizuku Sutsuji, I love that sheen, that green goldish sheen that it that is there. I don't know if I need a full bottle of that, but I do love the sample. Yamabudo, again this one's a cross between like a pink and a purple so when I do a pink or sorry when I do a pink oh my gosh when I do a purple ink exploration this will actually be in that as well because some people see it as purple some see it as more pink but when I wrote with it I mean the the sample itself looks more pronounced as a pink or a purple whereas the 
writing itself, it looked more like red or maroon to me. So again, not, I know so many people love this, but I don't know if it's a favorite of mine. I do love Cosmosu. It's currently in my Lamy All Star, and it's such a punchy pink, and it's just one of those feel good pinks, you know what I mean? Now, Herbon Rue Donc, this was not one that I expected to like. I got the sample at first, and I was like, ugh, I didn't really like it. It was dry, it was gross. I put it in my Cross Botanica, and it is now one of my favorites. When it first went down, it was this very orange, corally color, but when it dries, it's this beautiful, light, dusty pink, and I love that color. One of my favorites, which is why I have a bottle of it. Sailor Ink Studio 237. Again, an unexpected favorite. I bought a sample of this. This sample leaked everywhere, but I loved the color. I loved where it leaked, so I had to buy a full bottle of that. And then lastly, this one, again, could also be seen as purple, Sailor Shikiri Yuzakura, but I love it. Look at how that pooled there and how just the shading of it. Oh my goodness. So you can tell that the ones that I've bought bottles for are my favorites, and I will need to buy a bottle of that Robert Oster Gold, Rose Gold Antica. What are your favorite pinks? I know that just even from this, there is so much variation in the pink family. So I'm excited to, I say collect more, but do I really need more inks? Uh, I don't know. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite pink inks are. But that is it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, please leave me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a great day.